The Occupy Wall Street movement was a really interesting sign of the times. It was just a really clear reminder of just how frustrated particularly young people were with the financial system. We were ones that understood how the system worked. And if we weren't going to be the ones that tried to do something different, then who was going to do that? My co-founder and I became really close when we met very quickly because we just had a lot of shared experiences. We're both only children, we're both children of immigrants. So that led to us meeting uh, in the physics department at Stanford. He was unbelievably good at math. He was this, this unbelievable problem solver. And he always seemed like this kind of person that had a luck about him. He's very creative. He's got a keen eye for design. That was actually true from the time we were roommates in college together. Like, I would not have had access to the opportunities that I did in life if I had grown up in India. And I was really lucky to have my parents move to this country right before I was born. It came around full circle as I became an adult and I was working in finance because I realized that I really loved the American financial system because I had seen the opportunities that it had given me in life. But so many of my peers um, kind of thought the whole system was rigged or that it was only to serve a small group of people. And at the same time, we understood how technology was changing the financial system. Trading, which was being done with desks of 50 to 100 humans, was suddenly being automated and done by algorithms and machines. Good deal. Customers were really paying exorbitant prices for a lot of services for something that's fully electronic. Banks and brokerages were really uh, ripping off customers. <laughs> and so we had this idea, which was that if we could build a product that led people invest and we could do it for free, it would unlock a new generation of consumers that had previously never invested in the stock market. The name Robinhood is very aspirational to us. When we think about it, we understand that not everything is right with the financial industry. The name sort of serves as an inspiration for us to make sure we're always doing the best thing for customers. The problem of how to get people that have not invested in the stock market, that are genuinely interested but are a bit daunted by the problem, this is one of the major problems that we're looking for really interesting solutions to. I think the best way to solve a problem is to think about it for a little while and then to go for a job. One of the things that I've struggled with and I'm, I know a lot of other people that are entrepreneurs struggle with is that as the company has started to do better, the amount of time that I actually have to solve problems kind of dwindles and dwindles. And I think that it's really important for me to still have some of that time and not just be in meetings all the time or just be in reactive mode all the time. My wife also being an a entrepreneur can be uh, helpful to have someone to bounce ideas off of and to get their opinion. Hi. We actually have uh, a baby daughter now, um, so I think managing our time and being efficient has become really, really important. Yeah. There's a lot of parallels between actually starting a family and starting a company. Very nice. Especially at the early stages, you're entirely responsible for this new thing and you have to continually be there and make sure that, that it survives. I wouldn't declare Robinhood as, as a success at right now. We just have a lot of work left to do. Success would be building a really, really big company that defines a category and improves the lives of as many people as possible. I think we're on a, a really good path to that. The majority of people in this country, they live paycheck to paycheck. And so I think if we can long-term change that trend and make it so that investing is, and saving money more broadly, is less of a chore and more something that people actually want to do, that would be success to me.